There are many reasons for us to think unfavourably of our glorious mayor. The proposal for cyclists to ignore signal lights or the rise in tube and bus fares. But one, I believe, shines above all else as a beacon of his inability to listen to the majority. And that is the drinking ban on London transportation. Hi, I'm Jason Daniels and I'm here in Leicester Square to talk to people about what they feel the drinking ban has done for their weekends. So what do you think about the drinking ban on London Underground? Okay, first of all, I think it's, it's okay under some circumstances. Mostly, it's a shame because like, obviously some people could handle it, but in the long run, I've got no more people falling asleep on me, spilling their beer on my lap. So. If you're responsible about it, it's fine. We put wine in a water bottle well, and no one it. knows the difference. I don't like seeing drunk people vomiting, all of that. It's, bad, it's a good thing but a bad thing. There's positive and negative to this. I think at the end of the day, try. it's a drug and it should be against the law because it's <laughs> an absolutely unacceptable behaviour. <laughs> Rebellion said it all really because when when he put the drinking ban in, everyone party on the tube, would it really? So. Why does England have to be different from the rest of the world? So I do respect the government to change that rule. On the other hand, they people should have the their 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 own opinions on how much they should drink and what they should be able to take onto the train and be respectful to other people.